I have done something amazing, revolutionary, it could be a world first. I have created set pieces. Well, I, I loaded the ones that I'd already created ages ago, but I, I remember to do it. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to The Journeyman. Things are going pretty well, although the tactics are a mess. But I'll show you why in a minute. Um, so after we scrape through against Genk, uh, we beat Imar 3-2, Yuri, Ramos and Alozi, and then there's a board draw. Then in the first leg of the knockout stages, it's weird because although, like, you know, Europe is always good, Europa League, that's always fun and stuff... It doesn't feel like my team yet because I've not had a proper transfer window to really sort of go at the team. So it's kind of like, I want to do well, but I'm not that bothered by it. Just want to keep my job, basically. It's all about next season, as we know. So I'm using it to really experiment with tactics. I'm all over the shop at the moment with tactics. But we beat them 2-0, Texty and Alozi. And then we beat Espanyol 1-0 with Texty getting another goal. It's doing well at the moment. So we got the second leg away from home. And then we're playing Cristiano Ronaldo's... Real Betis, who are fourth in the league. Table's looking good. It's looking very good. I'm very happy. We only need mid-table. And I'm not even bothered. It'd be nice. I'll take it. But I'm not even bothered, really, about getting into Europe next season. I'm kind of like, I wouldn't mind a season just to the league, so we can, con because of the expectations, just concentrating on the league. So I'm just using it to mess about with tactics. Today I'm playing a 4-4-2 with a Mazella. That there's no logic that I'm not going to explain my superior tactical thinking <laughs> with inverted wingers uh, still. I, I think the main thing was I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't happy because basically I was playing a tactic that basically requires I shouldn't be playing inside forwards, but I was trying to be stubborn because I wanted to use wingers inverted wingers. So I'm pulling it back to a four four two, and we've got some. Decent strikers as well. We've got Alozi, who's been on really good form. We've got Alonso, who's the youngster, who I want to give game time to, who's been performing well. Um, we've got Santos, the other guy as well. So it gives me a chance to give these guys a bit of game time, which is, like, massively important this year. These youngsters, like the likes of Texty and stuff, um, who's knackered today, because uh, Yuri's out as well, because he's knackered. But uh, we want to get him plenty of game time, ready to go next year. Because, you know, like, oh, we've got a bit of support, lads. Okay. That's more like it. A couple of the big boys. That's why we, we need to get Santos. He's the captain. He really should be supporting me. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go 4-4-2. We're just going to try it out. I'm, I'm just going to mess about with tactics, basically, for the rest of the season. Do some random stuff. It's it's not as if, like, it's not working. We're, we're playing pretty well, but it, it's... You know how sometimes, even if you're doing, the results are okay, you're like, meh, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. And that's kind of how I've been. So we're just going to mess about, because this is the only chance we're going to get to experiment with tactics and stuff. So I might end up with something really weird, or going back to one of our older ones or something. Right, we're tuning up. We've had to rest a few players, which is annoying, but... Hopefully we'll do all right against the old nappies. I hope you all had a lovely weekend. It's a weird world at the moment, isn't it? It's a weird, weird world. Go on, who's that? It's Gomez. He's the signing. He's, the, he's my signing. Oh, I signed him. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. From Tottenham. The one from Tottenham. Yes. Okay, good. First goal. What we want to see, boys. The away goal is dead. Surely now they have to score four. Right? Fucking why can I never do maths? Is it just me that struggles working out away goals? It just doesn't seem to go in my brain properly. It feels like it's like really difficult maths every time that I'm having to work out. Alozi. Go on, son. Go on. Oh, good save. I'm always like, okay, but that... So they need... I can't just be certain that that... Like, it should be obvious. They're very small numbers. I should, <laughs> I should. And people always say, oh, but Loki, you're an accountant. Yeah, but I didn't have to do maths. As a, you don't have to do maths as an accountant. You have spreadsheets. You put in numbers and then it works it out and gives you another number at the bottom. So it's not like you need to do maths. I always said my maths teacher, when they're teaching you algebra, and everybody's like, when you're getting taught algebra, you're like, what the fuck am I ever going to use this for? 
And I always wanted to go back to my maths teacher and say, look, I'm a qualified accountant now and I've still never touched algebra. I know it's like engineering and shit, isn't it? It's like proper stuff. But I, I feel like that time could be better spent teaching kids something useful. And if they want to go into engineering or science or whatever and need to learn algebra, let them learn it on their own time. Let them pick a subject. I've gone on a weird rant there, haven't I? Just having school flashbacks. Mrs. Parry, fucking horrible maths teacher. Sorry, Mrs. Parry, if you're watching. Right. This is going great. This is going very good. We've got a few tired boys out there. How's Tanaka doing? He's a bit knackered. I think we can... Um, he's the lefty, though, isn't he? Yeah, that's fine. We know we can play right, right backs on the other side now. We've learned it works. Right. Alberto... Don't mess it up. Oh, fucking hell. That's not that's not a good start, mate. <laughs> you literally just passed... That was on your left foot as well, so you've got no excuse. You literally just passed their attacker. Okay. Fernandez is doing all right. The experienced goalkeeper. 1-0 up. 45 minutes left. I think we should be good. Hey, it'd be weird to win the Europa League first season, wouldn't it? Alozi, tight angle. Oh, it's a great finish, goalkeeper. Definitely not that good. He's not the, Ed, Ed, what's his name? Edilson or Edilson? It's got a weird apostrophe in it. Tenth goal of the season for Alozi. Beautiful. <coughs> and now they have to score nine. I think it's nine now. I think it's nine. I've worked it out. It's nine. They have to score nine. No, mate, come on. Um, right, Nacho. It'd be interesting to see how Nacho does, because he's our, like, our little project. How Nacho, Nacho does a little bit further back. Less of an inside forward and more of a proper inverted, wing, uh, inverted winger. Nacho lets it go drop over him. Can he get past him? It's a good pass out. Don't lose it, Paris. Alberto. This is, could be dangerous if we lose it. He dinks one in. I think people are on. <laughs> what is this highlight? Okay, that's not this one. Okay, Diaz. Cut it back. Lonely ball across. David on the volley. Alozi. It's saved. No, it went off the crossbar. Okay, weird one. We played brilliantly. Maybe, okay, maybe a 4-4-2 with inverted wingers can be done. I've not used a Mazella massively, but I thought, let me know, correct me if I'm wrong, but generally speaking, I thought you used a Mazella when you were like, you had like three in midfield or you had a DM or even a number 10, like a third person in midfield because he does want to drift a little bit wider, doesn't he? So if you've only got two in midfield, that might open up a little bit of a hole. Because my thought was, if I use a Mazella and an inverted winger on attack, he's pushing forward and coming in and the Mazella drifts out wide, but then maybe we need another centre mid. But if it works, like don't question it. It's a good ball. They're looking for their first goal. It gets blocked by Nacho. He seems to have a decent work ethic on him, Nacho. He seems to do his defensive duties pretty well. But I feel like he, he if we can unlock him, he could be the best player at the club. Right, they're just they're just mucking about with it now, trying to trying to keep the result. That's good. That's good though. Shows a bit of pace. Jardi. Ball across. Free header. That's poor, lads. They've gone to sleep. We'll let them have that. That one's for the fans. Let the fans enjoy that. But look at the crit the chance he's created. Paris, man of the match. Yeah, because let's have a look. All right. So the description, if you're wondering, the modern interpretation of Mozilla is a central player that likes to drift wide and operate in half spaces. So he's going to go, whoop, and hopefully this guy's pushing forward. Can we tell this guy to, like, he's already getting further forward. So hopefully he should be out of the way. When we've got the ball and we're attacking, he's doing this to fill in that space and I'm hoping that David is sort of I don't think they, they don't go out like full out wingers we'll watch him next we'll play it we'll watch it next game 
against uh, Betis. Locomotive Moscow. Who? Oh, hmm. Which which one? I've, I've completely forgotten which club we were at in Russia. <clears throat> um. CSK. Okay, that was it. That's the one. Oh, Paris was good. That's because Paris is a deep line playmaker. Because it's just the best role. It's just the best role. I'm telling you. I just can't live without it. Right, okay. On to Real Betis. Let's see how we do with the Mozilla. Okay. We're going to play Yuri as our Mozilla for this. He's built for it. Like, he's pretty much built for everything apart from centre-back. <laughs> Um, so I think we, we will use him as our subject for today's, uh, experiment. And we should have the guys that needed rest and stuff back. Dante's back in. Um, let's play. Martinez is getting, he's one of our other youngsters. He's had, he's had a bit of game time, which is good. But let's see, let's see Nacho today. I think Texty, because Diaz is gone. He, he's, he's been poor. He had a good little run. But recently he's been a bit shocking. And he's 31. And you know what I'm like. Kill the old. Um, so that's fine. We need uh, some like remotely that can play striker. Red um, So it's Santos out. We can go well up top if it all goes horribly tits up. To be fair, we Yuri could go up top. I did consider that anyway. If we need it. Right. Okay. This is all about Yuri. The magician. Russia's greatest love machine. Okay. And we've just got our youth recruitment upgraded. And I've increased... Yuri with the corner. I've increased the transfer percentage. to It was 90%. Oh, but it's now 100%, which is good. Because I think next season we're going to have to make our own money. I don't think... We might get £20 million if we're lucky to spend. But for the rebuild that we require... We're gonna need. I'm gonna have to work my nutsack off to to get get the players in. There's gonna be a culling of epic proportions. Like not as many as I thought. I thought this team would need a whole rebuild, but actually, there's a there's probably like five or six like good good sort of first teamers or squad players. All right, where we've got to find Jury first. That's gotta be a minute. There he is. Right, so he's a little bit deeper. Nice. Oh, that's decent. That's decent. Tight angle, but the keeper just doesn't move. Fernandez, come on. Uh, Matteo Rossi gets his eighth of the season. Like, come on, Yuri. You see it at the back post. Should deal with this. Should should deal with this easy, and we've not. In any way, shape, or form. Come on, let's. I'm going to demand more. Not a shot on target, lads. Bet this must have dropped off a bit because they were they were up there. They were challenging for a while. Okay, that was shit, lads. That was just, just plain shit. Okay. We didn't even get to see Yuri apart from defending set pieces and taking corners. I, I, we, we need to see him. <laughs> this is why if you really care about tactics, like if you're really into tactics, watch at least extended highlights. Because it's, it's really hard to tell unless you go into the, you know, the all the stats and stuff after the game to see what happened. Like, from this, we we have no idea if this is any good. But one thing we do know, we're playing shit. Um, we can do this to just get them up the field a little bit more. Paris is fine, right? Yeah. Oh, God, that, that, that looks horrific. But we're going to go with it. This is the year of experimentation. No, 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 not that one. And 
and subs. <sighs> Texty's had a shocker. All right, old man. All right, old man. Let's see if you can be an impact sub because you're, you know, your ancient age. Maybe you can only do 20 minutes. Tanaka's on a yellow. He's anxious. He's not had a great game. Let's get him off. Yeah, so, so the exper experiment to see how Yuri gets on. We're going to say tough to tell. They look, they look quite good, though, to be fair. Uh, Real Betis look like the real deal. Don't worry about it, mate. It's only ah, six hours. That's nothing. Nothing to worry about, buddy. Um, oh, fuck off. It's one of our good youngsters. I've also decided, for, for some odd reason, we're sticking with the Colombian theme. We've got three Colombians in, and we're I'm, just, I'm, now, I'm now scouting the under-21s and under-23s of the Colombian national team. Because they're going to be our foreign players, I've decided. Because, you know, reasons. Um, so we've got Dante Ramos. Is, he's he's going to be going anyway. Um, he's like, all right, but we can do better. So he that will free up another a Colombian spot, as we're going to call them now. So I'm just we're going to go with it. Go with the theme. Right. So, yeah, Yuri, no idea if that was any good. Um because, you know, I can't have to actually go and look into detail about his performance and stuff. Like, you know, good. But we'll know better. But I, I have, like I said, next next time you see me against, who was it? Locomotive might be an entirely different formation. I think if, I love, I don't know why I love Yuri, but I love him. I think we might need to play him as a number 10. So we can make use, especially of that long shots. And he's got a great passing and vision. Bit of flair. His dribbling's good. What about an Ungonch? Like he can literally do everything. Or Trecotista. Trecotista might be actually the one. Makes use of his more attacking stats. But then are we playing a 4-1-1? Four, four, one, one? Like old school Fort William? No idea. Find out next time. To be fair, what? Mm. We could go wingless again. Go like a four, three, one, two, two, one, some. I don't know. No idea. Might be the same. Might be completely different. But <laughs> you'll join me next episode to find out. Right. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back with more Europa League action. It's still looking good. Where's mid table? 10th, 41 points. Three, he my hefty three points. It's a little bit closer than I was hoping for. But so we better not do too crap, but we can mess about a bit. Right, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.